Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be trying out some new releases from the drugstore. I'm pretty excited for this video because um, there's a lot of cute new releases and I hope that it's gonna be a really good day, but we never know. If you guys saw my last video, which is actually the haul, which I featured all of these products in, you will see that I kind of have like a mix of different brands and two of these brands I bought a lot of stuff from them so I was kind of thinking to myself maybe I should just do two separate dedicated videos to these brands and have another video just drawing out the rest that are just like more random stuff especially since I bought like four base products and I kind of want to try all of them so I can't try all of them in one video you know that that was kind of my thought process. Anyways, before we jump right in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. And yeah, guys, let's begin. First off, technically, I shouldn't be using this here, but I thought I would because I saw my haul video, I actually got like three eyeshadow palettes from Run and Wild and also, my thought process was, I'm pretty much not gonna use all three in one video, so why not use one of them now? Just use this one, and this one is the Go Commando palette. Like, it looks so cute. Okay, so technically, I don't have an eyeshadow primer, but I do have a new eyeshadow primer in my collection. And that is the Believe Beauty Lock It, Lock it In eyeshadow primer, so I might use this. I feel like I'm looking so tired right now and that's because I technically like woke up from a nap and I'm just <laughs> my energy is just so low right now and I'm trying not to have it that low but it's gonna take a while <laughs> okay sorry about that I just use a bronzer in my crease as a, like a transition shade since this one technically doesn't really have like a transition shade Now let's actually jump right into the palette. I think I'm just gonna take this shade. Oh wow, okay, I just like dipped once and that happened, so be careful. Wow, okay. Honestly, let's, okay, you guys need to know something. This is like technically the first time I've ever tried a Wet n Wild eyeshadow. Technically, I have tried, but I had like their very old colorful eyeshadow palettes and they weren't the greatest so like normal shades like everyday day-to-day -day kind of shades this is the first time i've ever tried anything from Lana wild like eyeshadow wise so so far i'm kind of impressed i'm pretty sure they definitely updated their formula along the way because what i remember it was just not the greatest <laughs> it's horrible but then when they released their other color icon palettes i never got to try them out i don't know why i just wanted to but i never could figure out which palette I wanted to get, and I was like, fine, you know what? I'm not gonna stress myself out about this, so. I think I'm gonna use this shimmer shade. I don't know, I'm, this green shade is literally like speaking to me, and I kinda wanna use it. So pretty, oh my god. Ooh. It's nice, it's not like the most amazing shimmery eyeshadow ever, but it's pretty. Like for the price, it's actually really good. I love how this look literally just used two shades and that was it. Like, I'm kind of impressed. <laughs> Only issue is like, I feel like the shimmers are like pressed really hard or at least this one. So when you try to like pick it up on your finger and put it on your eyes, it like requires more and it keeps like pressing the shadow down even more. You know what I mean? And it just creates that like weird layer on top. So that's what I'm getting right now. Not my favorite thing out of a shimmer eyeshadow. But I feel like that happens a lot from the drugstore shade. I don't know. I think then I'm just gonna take the light shade and put that in my inner corner. So I'm gonna use another finger. Oh wow, look at that. That would be a beautiful highlighter, like face highlighter. I think I might use it as a highlighter actually. Hopefully I remember. Okay, so that was like the quick little eye tutorial. <laughs> Um, before we continue actually, let me put on some mascara. So technically I don't have like a new new mascara Like brand new that I haven't tried but I do have like two new mascaras in my collection That I have recently tried one was a recent release and the other 
was like an old release. TikTok made it famous. So we have the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and the L'Oreal Air Volume Mascara. I already tried this and I really do love it a lot and I'm currently testing this one out. So maybe you should just use that one. I mean, it looks pretty, but I feel like it's more lengthening than it is volumizing, that's for sure. I think it is supposed to be just a lengthening mascara, right? It's kind of clumping up my lashes a little bit together, which I'm not a huge fan of when that happens early on. You can see this eye, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but it kind of looks a little bit clumpy at the base. Like the final result actually looks really nice. I do like this for like a day-to-day -day kind of mascara. Like this one is definitely voluminous and clumping and just like out there. I feel like a mix of both is good because this one will add some length and then this one can add some volume and uh, you can have like pretty lashes. It's not as extreme as it was on TikTok to be honest, but it's it's a decent mascara, that's for sure. Same thing that L'Oreal always makes great mascaras. I don't know why, but their mascaras are always my favorite. I don't, I just, they do it great. Let's move on actually to my brows. I completely forgot that part existed. So I got two new things from NYX. And the first one, this is their Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. And I got my new the shade Espresso. And we got the, the brow glue. So let's try these two on. I think I'm gonna zoom you guys back in. So uh, this is what the pen looks like. Okay, so I like the fact that it's actually light. Like, it's not that pigmented like my Anastasia one. Like, I'll swatch the Anastasia one for you. This one is my Anastasia one that is actually, like, pretty pigmented for me. But I see. I feel like it's way more pigmented. And honestly, that's why I don't really use it that much. It's, like, more of an actual eye pen, eyeliner pen. But this one looks like an actual brow thing. Honestly, that shade match is actually pretty good. Okay, I have something to say. This is so much easier than the Anastasia one. What? I think it's just because it's literally not as pigmented. It makes sense. It makes sense. It's just a sheer little stroke of hair. So the brush tip is way thinner than the Anastasia one. The only reason why I'm referencing it to the Anastasia one is because that's the only one I have that's similar to the whole glossy brow flick situation. You can definitely see like a difference, right? Like the NYX one is definitely shorter and thinner than the ABH one, which is why I really do like that. And honestly, they did a great job. This is definitely worth it. Like, I would personally suggest you guys pick the NYX one up over the Anastasia one. Even though they're completely different price points, I feel like the next one is actually pretty good. Can't really compare it to the Glossy one because I haven't tried the Glossy one. But I feel like it definitely compares way more than the ABH one. Just my personal opinion. I have the Milani Skin Quench Hydrating Primer and this contains hyaluronic acid and coconut water. I'm pretty excited to try this out. Because I love anything that has hydrating and hyaluronic acid in, in it. Like a has more of like a creamy consistency. It doesn't smell like anything. It smells like a cream. Like a basic non-fragrance cream. <laughs> oh, that is thick. I'm only gonna need to add more because it's kind of hard to move it around. Kind of reminds me of like a sunscreen, a very thick sunscreen situation. I don't know. Consistency-wise, I'm not a huge fan. I feel like it's really thick. But on the face though, it doesn't feel that thick. It doesn't feel like it's oily or greasy or anything. It feels nice and hydrating. It's just kind of hard to like spread out. Moving on, of course, to the item that I'm so excited about. Technically, we have like two base products, but I'm leaning towards the Milani one. So I have the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation and the Milani Hydrating Skin Tint. I think I'm just gonna try this one out first. So I'm kind of excited about it. Now looking at the shade up close. <sighs> I think I may have made a mistake, but. Ooh, it's like a very watery consistency. You can see it dripping. I feel like it's more 
oily than watery. I don't know, can you guys see like there's like an oil rim around it? <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, that shade is a little off, but that's fine. I'll run it in with my fingers on that side actually. So nice. That feels so nice, actually. Just a little bit greasy on my hand, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a huge fan of rubbing it in with my fingers, but I don't know. I just tried it out this way because I know like a lot of people like to um, blend in their tinted moisturizers using their hand and that's completely fine, but personally, I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. <laughs> I don't, I just don't like the feeling of foundation or like anything on my hand that has to do with makeup. I don't know why, it's just annoys me so much it's kind of weird but anyway sorry let me use up the sponge it was actually not that bad like once it's blended in it looks pretty good to my neck actually it looks beautiful on definitely do feel like i'm adding a lot more than i'm used to with like any other tinted moisturizer It looks so beautiful. Yeah, so far that is actually pretty good. And let's move on to concealer. Picked up the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer and uh, shade is gonna be way off. I'm pretty sure. I honestly don't know if this is technically like a new concealer or not, but it is new to me. Oh my God, look at that. Look at the doe food applicator. Oh my God, it looks so different. Looks like a teardrop. I've never seen anything looks like that before. It smells like perfume. It smells like a floral perfume. Floral, floral. I can't even say the word. Well, okay. Yeah, I think and the packaging looks lighter than it in real life. I think I added way too much, which is not good. So let me blend that out first and then see if we're gonna need more or not. Oh yeah, yeah, chain match is pretty good. Okay. Oh, I like it. Even though it says like it's a matte concealer, I don't feel like it's too, too matte. Maybe it's because we do have like a hydrating primer and a glowy tinted moisturizer underneath. So it wouldn't be that mattifying. But so far, it blends out beautifully and has a pretty decent coverage. The only thing though, their shade range is the worst. So Essence, please work on that. Uh, like. Just please. <laughs> I like the fact that it doesn't look like cakey or creepy underneath my eyes. Cause usually some concealers have been actually looking like that and I don't know what to do. My under eyes have been looking so dry lately and I feel like nothing has been working. We'll see, I'll have to like try it out a bunch of you times to know if it's actually good or not. But so far it's okay, like I like it. I don't hate it, it's not like completely out of my collection. Like being like, uh, no, I don't like you. But it's not like a holy grail. Does that make sense? I have this beautiful baby. This is the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in the shade Nude Kiss. And this is what the beautiful shade looks like. I'm so excited to try this out. I don't know if I should use it with a brush sponge on my fingers. <laughs> like, ooh, that shade. I don't know what to do. Oh my god. The shade is a little too pink for the eye look, but she looks really good. Let me try it out with this sponge, actually. Okay, that was a little too much. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, it looks really nice. I will say that it's not like my favorite cream blush at the moment, also. Like, it's nice. It does need me to like play around with it a bit more to kind of see if I love it or not, but so far. It's actually pretty nice. I think it has more of like a greasy formula to it though. Definitely has like a dry oil feel. So I wouldn't really suggest it for oily skin people. Unless you have oily skin and you've tried it and you love it, then let me know down below. It's definitely not gonna be mask proof formula, like at all. Like this is, this is creamy and dewy and like, not like the, not like the Rare Beauty like cream and liquid blushes, these you know. They're gonna last on your skin, like they're gonna dry down, but this one is not gonna dry down, that's for sure. I love the shade, I don't know why, I have a special obsession with these tones for my blushes. 
don't have a new bronzer so I just use my um bronzer duh we'll be back for highlighter i think i'm gonna use this shade that is in the one well palette because it looks beautiful so uh, let's hope that that's actually gonna be a good highlighter <laughs> oh it looks pretty on camera i can't really see it in real life that much oh there we go little update on the concealer it actually creased like a teeny tiny bit on the inner part of my under eyes but nothing like too major which is good because we didn't actually set this at all so it's not like it's an extreme crease also this product i technically didn't talk about it in my haul because i did buy this like a couple of weeks back or a week back something like that so i have tried it out once and technically it's new not really like new but it is brand new drugstore product oh my god wait a second we didn't use this okay we're gonna move we're just gonna put the lipstick on and then we're gonna move back to this anyways so the lipstick that i'm talking about this is the maybelline ultimate lip pen matte lip pen i don't know what's the actual name of it color sensational matte lipstick pen that's what it is and i got mine in the shade nude taupe and this shade is beautiful the perfect shade ever so let's put this on the lips i feel like it's gonna be really nice with this eye look maybe i just realized i also have another new lip product from l'oreal and this is a their why do they not have names this is like their new matte liquid lip like matte ink liquid lipstick kind of formula and I got mine in the shade I Explore. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's honestly almost the same shade as this one, but it's beautiful as well. But let's just use the Maybelline one since I already started. This is such a beautiful formula. Like, honestly, it's better than their MAC Ink pen formula. I hated that one. That was like horrible. This one is so much better. For sure. I think it's like the updated one, maybe. I don't know. But ah, love that shade and that shade with that eye look. It's a mood, for sure. Is it just me or do I feel like the blush keeps like disappearing? Let's move on to the brows that I forgot to set. So far, I actually really do like everything on my face. I hope that this is not gonna ruin it. It really does look like a brow glue, like a glue glue. Ooh, yeah, it's like goopy. Very like goopy. <laughs> definitely feels like you have glue on your eyebrows you know when you um i don't know if you've done this before or not but uh, like you're trying to cover up your brows so you use a glue stick on and try to like keep layering like the glue stick powder foundation all of that together to cover, to cover up your eyebrows that's exactly how it feels when you put the glue in i feel like this will actually last like the apocalypse how thick it is on my brows right now. I need to stop adding more because if I keep adding more, I think they're gonna be like bricks on my eyes. My brows are shut. Like they are not gonna move. If they do, I will be shocked because man, that looks like they're there. They're gonna stay like that for the rest of their life. So yeah guys, I think that that was everything. I don't think I'm actually gonna put lashes on. I don't know, I like the look without lashes. Do you guys like it when I don't put lashes on or do you want me to like go all out with like lashes and everything and just like actually be like a full face glam makeup i don't know personally i'm like trying to be more into more natural stuff i mean this is not a natural look whatsoever i mean the eyes are not natural but the face kind of looks like a a nice everyday kind of makeup look does it not i don't know i'm touching my hair a lot i'm sorry i do like almost all the products yeah i will say yeah the concealer is definitely increasing so i don't think that it's like a crease proof matte formula i think you definitely are gonna have to set it my two favorites out of everything have to be this the milani tinted moisturizer and the nyx brow pen i am absolutely in love with this like it was so easy to use and it's not that pigmented and it made life easier and the brush was so thin so it actually created hair like strokes which i love that it was that easy and 
didn't require that much time or that much effort so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned to my next few videos i will be testing out the rest of the stuff that i got on the haul don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and i'll see you in my next video bye